<laughs> hey guys, what's going on? It's Twintuitive717. I am back with another video. I hope everyone is well. I'm going to be doing a karmic reading today. So this is going to be really specific. So if you're a divine feminine that's tuned in, this is going to be a reading where your divine masculine is the one that's involved in a karmic relationship with someone else. And the reason I wanted to do a reading is because I'm feeling like the spell has been lifted. Many divine feminines are getting their spunk back. A lot of you are feeling a lot more energetic and creative and... The reason I feel like many of you were feeling drained and unmotivated before um, was because energetically what was happening behind the scenes um, is that your masculines are moving towards you and they might be cozy and comfortable in a karmic relationship but spiritually, energetically, um, their mind is in a different place and a lot of these karmic partners are picking up on the signs of when the masculine wants to move toward the feminine. And a lot of the times, too, the karmic partners find themselves being very toxic um, in their relationship with the divine masculine. But it's like whatever they do, they just can't stop themselves from re-triggering the masculine to make him see that it's like this is a toxic situation. And the reason I'm so drawn to my divine feminine is because a lot of them are feeling like that's what true love should feel like. That's what it should feel like when you are into someone. It should feel easygoing. It shouldn't feel like you're confined or trapped in any way, right? And that's what a lot of these masculines are are waking up to. And of course, a lot of the times I feel like the karmics tend to blame the divine feminine for this energy. But like what's happening is like they're they're so like caught up in their own behavior and that's part of like why they're so toxic is that like they won't take accountability for their actions a lot of them are very abusive to your masculine um, a lot of them find themselves very much engaging in that toxic femininity right using manipulation crocodile tears um, being very condescending and demeaning and like emotionally manipulating towards your divine masculine and that's been the case for a really long time and i feel like many of your masculines who are in this situation with their family and friends it's a secret their family and friends don't actually know that this is what the karmic partner is like behind closed doors but as of lately i feel like family and friends are starting to piece this together okay because the divine feminine's presence in this masculine's life is i feel like it's causing karmic upheaval like the karmic is like they can't help but expose who it is they are and it's like they have this very like cutthroat energy about them where they, like they're very good at making people think that they're a certain type of way they're very innocent like this might be a female energy who is very pretty like her face looks very like sweet and kind and like she might dress very girly and but when she's alone with the divine masculine she's like a complete witch do you know what i mean not in a bad way but like you know just like a wench <laughs> um and these are the types of things that are starting to come to light and uh, this nail actually cracked right in half that's why i can't um paint it because I don't want nail polish seeping into the the nail bed but remember in past readings I told you guys about karmic situations and when karmic um the karmics tend to like sense that the masculines are wanting to exit that cycle or exit that situation they tend to like cling on um and I remember I told you guys I always experience nail issues like my nails chipping and things like that <laughs> so that's why I feel like a lot of them are like pulling out the last straws when it comes to holding on to this divine masculine but this knife also represents that many of your masculines are ready to cut those cords as well and that is exactly why the energy was so heavy that you were feeling divine feminine because they might have been having a lot of fights and conflict and arguments and your name might have been in this karmic's mouth a lot or even the divine masculine's name uh even your divine masculine they might have been like talking about you speaking your name like just trying to like resolve conflict with the karmic and that's why you guys might have felt energetically that it's like things were just heavy okay um and also if you guys are kind of clicking in and going oh my god that's me right now like i'm experiencing those things guys that's why my sister brought me this beautiful crystal <laughs> like she's like listen that sh that shit's gonna protect you you just keep it around you and uh, she also got me a white sage um, candle as well. So, um, you know, make sure you guys are counting on support. I actually made myself a um, 
protection vial as well. This has got clove in it. Um, I don't know what they call it in North America, but Google, it's like what we feed to the fire during uh, Hindu prayers and stuff like that. We'll light a fire. And for us, fire is like a god in itself. So these are things that we would use to feed the fire during uh, puja. So um, I made this because it's it, it, like for us, the, the smells it creates when it's burned and things like that, it tends to ward off negativity and any evil around you. So I ended up just kind of making one and uh, I keep it around my son's room. And uh, yeah, when I'm doing readings, I keep it around me as well. But if any of you, again, are feeling this type of heavy energy, make sure you guys are burning incense like crazy. I've been burning incense too. Um, here's my little stick. It's totally all finished here. But um, that has been helping a lot. Palo Santo, white sage incense. Um, just go to Amazon and get yourself a variety pack. Or if you live in an area where there's like Indian stores, um, like in your neighborhood, go and, and get yourself some incense. And like for, for us or me and my family and generations and generations, we believe like the types of smell and the smoke and stuff like that, it just clears things out. Okay, so let's see what this card says. Okay, so we have the book. And for me, the book kind of goes hand in hand with what I'm telling you guys about protection because I feel like many of you need to return back to your book of shadows, so to speak. <laughs> and, um, you know, cast spells of your own, protection spells of your own. And, um, you know, use the traditions that you have in your family that might have been passed on from like your mother or your grandmother in terms of like clearing energy from your home um, bringing in positive energy to your home and to your space um, because again I don't like it's not like it's a scary thing but it's like yeah some of you might very well be under like spiritual energetic attack and it's not in like this bad way like someone's turning this cauldron over you many times karmic partners don't even realize that that's what they're doing and that's why it's a lesson in itself to be mindful of the thoughts you keep because it attracts good karma or bad karma okay so i feel too that many karmic partners are finding that the more they hold you in mind and have negative intentions towards you divine feminine the more things are going wrong in their life and it's almost like they're receiving these weird signs that okay they better stop thinking about you because every time they think about you divine feminine in a negative way certain things start going wrong in their life and i'm not even playing around guys like a lot of them are getting these types of signs and epiphanies and so i, I feel a lot of them just kind of backing the fuck off because energetically spiritually you guys are protected okay so let's find out a little bit about what your divine masculine is feeling when he thinks about coming towards this connection what's been triggering the karmic so much guys what's been going on what is this divine masculine going through okay so king of wands baby he's getting his strength back his confidence back um he's feeling more passionate about committing to something that makes him feel more fulfilled because we have the chariot card as well so this is a divine masculine that's ready to take action and they've been strategizing behind the scenes <laughs> and i feel like karmic partners are so used to like invading the masculine's private things going through their phone going through their computer so that's why these energetic attacks are happening because it's like divine feminines might be like but i ain't even nowhere near the man yo i don't even talk to the mans yo but it doesn't mean the man's not watching you, right? And this tells the karmic that they're ready to come forward. Um, so again, a lot of you might be experiencing things like chips in your nails, your energy's down, you know, you're feeling kind of foggy in the brain and you're, you're just like, what the heck is going on? Like, I feel so much more tired than usual. When I wake up, I feel so drained. Protect yourself, guys, protect your energy. Even if you don't believe in holding these crystals and you know, my little vial here and stuff like that, Say your prayers, say a protection prayer. You know, if you don't have a belief in like God or Jesus or um, like for me, I'm Hindu. So I, you know, I roll with Hanuman and Mother Kali. So that's like my go-to for protection. But if you guys aren't um, like connected in that way, you could just reach out and ask the universe. Um, I mean, a lot of you know tarot, then you, you must know oracle cards and we know Archangel Michael is a great protector. So make sure that you guys are reaching out for assistance because we do have free will. And so if we're not utilizing that free will to ask for help and asking for help is part of feminine energy because you're in the energy of receiving. Um, 
you know, make sure you guys are practicing things like that, okay? Because again, like this karmic energy tells me that your masculine is coming forward. I can't even deny it. Like the chariot with the king of wands here, this masculine is ready to make a commitment and they're being really decisive about it. So they might be standing up to this karmic partner um, because right now they're feeling really, really sure about what it is they want. The king of wands is also a man that doesn't procrastinate or not a man or I mean, man or woman, really it's just an energy um but usually with the king it does indicate um you know masculine energy but it's someone who doesn't procrastinate like once they have their heart set on something they're gonna keep going until it's done and for this masculine it's this connection with this divine feminine it's not going anywhere and the longer they stay in karmic situations the more towers keep happening cycles um, the same kind of toxic negativity that just overflows in their life when they're involved in this situation. Many of them are starting to wake up and clue into the fact that they need to do something drastic and they need to do something different. And that's why they're waking up in this King of Wands energy, feeling ready um, to engage in a new venture. Okay. And at this time, they're ready to really declare their affiliation with you, Divine Feminine. They're really ready to charge forward and say hey listen even if it's just friends like i can't be away from you i want to get to know you i want you in my life some way somehow how do you feel about that like i feel like that's what the king of wands is feeling like you know they're wanting to come forward and say at this time okay let's go ahead and end off with the message from the tarot of sexual magic what does the Divine Masculine want you to know, Divine Feminine? Like, how does he feel when he thinks about you, when he's alone? Okay, these are way too many. I just want one card. Okay, I'll take these two, but <laughs> definitely someone wanting to take action towards you, Divine Feminine. And, you know, don't mind the uh, crude... Don't mind the crude image in the card in terms of him holding her hair and, and, and you know having the whip out and things like that. I feel like even the two women in the background here are kind of, you know, peering in to represent the taboo of the image there. But, you know, the Knight of, of, of Swords is somebody who is ready to just kind of ride into the thick of it. Like, even though they know it's going to cause a lot of drama coming towards you, they're ready to do it because they're ready to defend the connection, Divine Feminine. You know, they're, they're going to endure this storm and it's not going to stop them. They know that there's going to be a lot of people talking about the fact that they're coming towards you um another thing too is that i feel like there's a lot of people around the divine masculine who genuinely care for him who are secretly cheering him on to leave this karmic situation in the dust and go towards what makes him happy because i'm sensing that a lot of people who genuinely care for these masculines they know that this karmic situation is just not right but they know it's his decision to make right um, but I feel like some of them have this inkling or they know of the divine feminine and secretly they are also praying and hoping that this masculine makes the choice from his heart. Um, and a lot of you may not know that there's close friends and family of the divine masculine that also watches you divine feminine and you know, they, they're meant to be there in order to guide the divine masculine toward what is right for him and what feels good for him but ultimately i feel like many masculines are waking up to realize like it's their decision they have to put their foot down and move uh towards what it is they want and they've got to be you know confident about it as well with this chariot card coming through here because it's all about confidence and direction and focus and and protecting yourself and doing things with willpower and having discipline and i feel like that discipline message is coming through because you know this five of cups here indicates that it's gonna take leaving the karmic person behind in the water there and make this offer to this divine feminine even if you have to you know be vulnerable here like right now i feel like he's on his knees um she's kind of even hesitant to accept the offer here because of the past right the cycles a lot of you have communicated with your masculines thinking that they weren't in a karmic situation and then boom they were uh, and a lot of you put a swift stop to that stuff because you're like listen i have lo a lot of love for you but as long as you're going to be engaging somebody else like it might be okay for you <laughs> to want to 
run one over on this person but it's not okay for me like I don't roll like that like I'm not about deceiving people and that's taught your masculines a lot about the type of person that you are the type of feminine that you are and I feel like that is exactly what's putting them into this king of wands energy and they're coming for you divine feminine so if a lot of you are feeling the signs of oh gosh you know you're the the talk of the town right now just protect your energy guys okay i love you take care and i'll catch you guys in the next reading bye